Broadly speaking, there are three basic types of motion as described by this topic of ninth grade physics book, namely translational, in which a body moves in a straight line, rotational, in which a body moves around a fixed point in a circular path, and vibrational, in which a body periodically moves back and forth through a main point, like this. All of those types of motion are important to understand, but the one we are interested in this video is this. You see vibrational or to and fro motion of the things all around you. That pendulum clock, a swing in the park, an earthquake, the strings of a guitar, an oscillating spring mass system, and in a lot of practical, more useful domestic and engineering applications, such as this vibration plate which sends high-speed vibrational signals throughout your body so that your muscles can contract and relax 30 to 50 times in a second, or this concrete vibrator which is used to eliminate all the air pockets that can remain while pouring the concrete which can ruin the integrity of the concrete. Or these vibrational motors in Xbox which are intentionally made to vibrate to let you feel the multi-directional haptic experiences. Or this hammer drill which provides a rapid succession of short hammering thrusts to really pulverize the material to be bored. As to provide quicker drilling with less effort. But let me show you something. In addition to all of these cool everyday experiences and engineering applications, there is something which overrules all of this awesomeness. This. I have changed the lighting conditions a little bit so that we can see what's going on here. I have here a really simple contraption which is used to represent to teach vibrations. What I have here is a bowl, is a plastic bowl and in it I have placed a speaker and I covered the top of this bowl with a balloon, with a balloon membrane. I cut the balloon in half and I paste it over the top of that bowl and I taped it all around. And uh, I glued a really tiny fragment of mirror over the top of that, that membrane, that balloon. And what I do is when I play something in the speaker, that speaker will vibrate that balloon membrane so that movement of this rubber membrane is replicated by that fragment of mirror and with the help of this laser fired on that fragment of mirror we can visualize the movement we can visualize how the balloon membrane how how that flexible membrane is vibrating I, I tap it a little bit so that you can see how effectively it can capture vibrations what actually I'm doing here is I have an app which is called Frequency Generator. It generates a really specific frequencies and I feed that frequency in an amplifier so that it can amplify sound a little bit and uh, I give that amplified signal to that speaker so that speaker can get a really nice uh, rich signal to have enough energy to vibrate that balloon membrane. I will play a pure note, a, a specific frequency, so that you can see, you can see the replicated movement, how this point, how this point is vibrating, how beautifully it is vibrating, I should say. And you can see that I, I will play 440 hertz here. Here I am writing that frequency, I'm feeding it. So... Let's play 440. This is how 440 looks like. It is actually very responsive when... It is quite responsive when, when I play a lower sound, when I play a low note sound. For example, This is 105 hertz. This is 105 hertz. This is how it looks like. I am, I am, I am pushing the frequency up here. 
this is the response you get 125 hertz it's looking a really really amazing pattern here i'm i'm slightly enhancing the frequency enhancing the frequency up and see how the membrane is vibrating then here is 129 hertz 133 hertz One hundred and fifty hertz, here's one seventy six hertz, this is the lowest audible frequency, twenty hertz, and we can see that there's there's no pattern on the wall because because the membrane is not moving quite so so efficiently the speaker is not producing vibrations in the audible range and and therefore we cannot we cannot see uh, we cannot hear any sound and we cannot see it there so what i'm doing here is i'm enhancing uh, frequency a little bit and this is 25 hertz 39 hertz on 53 on 53 hertz we we can see some vibrations we can visualize some vibrations here's 76 hertz A tiny movement seventy hertz. Hundred hertz. It is quite responsive at one twenty-two hertz. This is, I think, this is resonating frequency. Woo! This is huge. One twenty-five hertz. It is showing maximum response at one twenty-five hertz. This is clearly the resonating frequency. 128 hertz 133 137 hertz it is now vibrating at 140 140 hertz One forty three hertz, this is one seventy three hertz. We are getting really awesome and amazing patterns. I'm very happy to see it. This is the demonstration for vibrations, how vibrations looks like in a real system. One eighty. This is one ninety six hertz. These are pure frequencies. These are pure frequencies. Let me try something. I will overlap two frequencies three fifty hertz and four forty hertz. This is how 350 hertz looks like and this is how 440 hertz will look like. This is dancing, those dancing patterns. This is an amazing pattern we get when when we overlap two, two two twenty six hertz and one hundred twenty one hertz.
Those are amazing. This is an amazing pattern when we overlap those two frequencies, 58 hertz and 135 hertz. Amazing. I don't have any words to explain my my enthusiasm, my curiosity. Now I will overlap 260 and 135. I'm doing it quite random, so I'm not sure what could happen. Whew. Really amazing pattern. I'm enhancing first frequency. Now what happened when we overlap two frequencies, the motion is quite different, the motion is quite complex and we cannot visualize it through, through the, our naked eye. This is the only way to see, I'm, I'm not sure this is only, but this is really convenient, easy way to do it. And this is amazing. I, I urge you to do, do it by yourself if, if you can get these things. These are really cheap by the way. Yeah, this is amazing pattern. Overlapping 137, 173 hertz and 135 hertz. Amazing patterns. Let me overlap two highly resonating frequencies, 125 hertz and 126 hertz and see what we can get. Wow, what it is doing? These are two overlapping resonating frequencies. Vibration is so much fun, I tell you. I'm enhancing the first frequency from 125 to 129 and the second frequency is 126. It's doing really odd things on its own. One thirty two and one twenty six. I think these are beats. Really amazing patterns. Now let me play a song. I'm excited to see how a musical note will look like here. Multiple frequencies at the same time. I want to make a compliment here. The study, the, these topics, the physics is so cool that you only learn it, you only feel it, you can only get a glimpse of it 
when you perform it by yourself, when you see it, when you see this kind of fun, and the physics is all about this. The physics is all about having fun, I tell you. I performed these experiments, I really enjoyed them, I really enjoyed doing them, and I hope that you also enjoy watching them. This is how we have been taught in school, and this is what it actually is. And I thank you for listening.